Fuck. That kitten never listens. Okay. Time to get Daniel at the Ericsons. Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Well... Looks like I'm home alone. Well, maybe I could use the phone while they're away. Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Maybe I could use Steven's laptop? It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. Okay, let's get this Brack back home now. Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm too soft with him. Wow. That's a lot of beer. <laughs> Daniel! What's going on here? <gasps> Sean! Wait! Don't freak out! I can't explain. Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things. Objects. With my mind. Oh. A superpower. Really? Yes. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. But that's my secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal. Totally! I'm going to be Super Wolf. What's your super name, Sean? Uh, how about the Silver Runner? Cool? Cool, right? Hmm, not bad. That's true, you're a great runner. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah. They share a lot of things. As thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations! And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa.
Well, they'll worry if we leave the house. And remember, you still have to get better, Daniel. Sean, come on. You know I haven't done anything fun since I got sick. It's the first time I've been out for days. We won't be gone for long. The market's only a few miles away. Anyway, they'll be at the service for at least another hour. Yeah, Sean. I can show Daniel around. You can come with us. Please say yes. Please. 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 <sighs> okay. You win. Not a fair fight. So let's go. <laughs> yes! Yeah! See? Dangerous. Okay, team. Uh... Give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spirit's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. Look closely. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? You sure? Okay. How did I do? Not bad. You're almost right. It was a bit tricky. Okay, let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit, the good guys. There's the forest warrior, Power Bear. Marty Rex and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. Captain Spirit kinda took care of him. He might need a little surgery now. But they're all working for Mantroy, who is the real supervillain. You should see his evil planet. Why doesn't Captain Spirit stop him? He tried, but failed. That's why he needs Super Wolf. You know, Daniel, to prevent Mantroid from hurting other people. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. <sighs> yeah, about that. Does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell, I uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. Chris, it's none of my business, but are you and your dad okay? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. Um, Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Yesterday, Stephen and her talked about your dad. I think they had a talk with him. Claire is always worried. We're cool. Totally. He's just... He has a hard time being on his own. That's all. Chris. I know life can get pretty tough. Trust me. But... You'll be okay. You're an awesome kid. Thanks, Sean. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power. And I have Daniel. 
There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip. Don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad. Let's roll. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. Thanks for clearing the snow from the porch. You're, you're awesome. You're welcome, Dad. Okay, buddy, you ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. I know, man. But you can't lie to friends about something like this. He could get in trouble thinking he can make shit fly. Or he could get hurt. So you want me to tell him the truth? Well... I don't want you to lie anymore. You don't have to tell him everything, but don't let him think he has magic powers, okay? You swear? Okay. I swear. Deal. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Trees. Like giant cocoons. Creepy. Hmm. I bet Dad didn't know about this. Uh. You coming, Sean? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be around. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing. I'll tell you later. So, what do we do? We have to pick the one we like. Can Daniel help, Dad? Of course he can. Awesome. Come on, no time to... Hi. Everything all right? All good. Quiet morning as usual. Sure. I'm fine. It's not much, but... She probably needs it more than me right now.
It's me, it's me, you've come to take my duality wakes the midnight time I could not see if I were you, were you, or me. We play the game with skillful ends, and so I asked for your demands. Give me your love, give me your gun, and he traced us back to where we gun. So the morning came. Looking for a way to disappear amongst the quiet things in all these empty streets. I found a way, I found a way to reappear. Wow, you made it all the way through. Weird. You got a crush on me or something? N what? Uh, um, no, I. I mean. It was pretty cool. I... I just... <laughs> Relax, dude. It's cool that you listened. People are usually too busy to care. <laughs> you have a great voice. You should be on one of those... singing shows. That's kinda nice. Not really my thing, though. I hate TV. Show business shit. Well... Thanks for the music, and good luck. See ya. Hey. Hey. Miss me already? <laughs> what? Uh, no, I mean... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. It's nice to chat for a change. Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. <laughs> no, no way. Just here for the holidays. Ah. You got family. My grandparents. <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Man, that sounds wicked. <laughs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. 
Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rail someday. Yeah. See you around. That Dottie was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't know why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. See the snow on that booth? Yeah. What about it? Maybe this guy needs a shower. You know? To cool him down. <laughs> You're right. Hold on. Careful. Careful. <laughs> this will teach him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> They're pretty. The best Christmas wreaths are here. Decorate your front doors with something truly special. We okay. Better find it. Come take a look. <laughs> um, I'd like one of those. Snowman things. Of course. They're handmade by local kids. Cool. Here you go. Thanks. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. <laughs> cool. Mission accomplished. We better leave now before Claire and Steven come back. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Uh, 
Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. And looks like you did too. What's her name? Um... Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? She was cool. You're too quick! Ah! Anyway, got ya! <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle, especially trying to be a good dad. Do you have some kind of problems? I'm just not the man I was. I shouldn't have even brought this up, you know, just forget it. Claire and Steven seemed a bit worried about you guys. Well, they stopped by yesterday. They really seemed to care about Chris, but I'm afraid they get the wrong idea sometimes. Claire threatens to call social services. That's true, we are not your usual pretty happy suburban family model, but I know things haven't always been good for the Reynolds either. Yeah, my... My mom left my dad a long time ago. She... Never came back. She broke all ties with her parents, too. <sighs> Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can be Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. So, did you set things straight with him? Told him the truth? 
Yeah, yeah, I did. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. You won't give up on that, right? It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. We'll find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <laughs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Dude, hurry. I'll stay here in case they come back. <sighs> Locked drawer. Maybe the key to Karen's room is inside. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. Karen hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Definitely not the one. Way too small. But let's see what it opens. Shit. These are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel. Or he'd freak. Clothes. Old stuff. Definitely no hidden key. <sighs> okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? <sighs> we clearly don't share politics, but at least Steven doesn't preach. I don't really see Steven listening to old school pop rock music. Yeah, not much to see in here. Sean! I saw Grandma. Go into the room yesterday. Yep, it's empty. Daniel, you really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes, I know I can't. Fuck. Can't find that stupid key. Just go for it. Yes. And don't blow apart the whole house. Haha. <laughs> really? Wow. There's 
not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? <sighs> it's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. They want to forget anything related to Karen. Hm. I can relate. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. <sighs> Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just... five more minutes. Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. That's how mom used to smell? I don't know. I don't think she used any perfume. From what I remember. Oh. I think I remember that okay. one. Karen showed it to I'm me just once. Not having any memories of her you. Show. Hey, Daniel. Check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like. the hero? I guess. So cool. Hi, Ulysses. They looked happy. How could you send all these pictures are so... random. Yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. So... You were a friend of my mommy's? I hope she took good care of you. Did she take you with her when well, she went on trips? Figures Karen was already looking for an exit. I wonder my mom loved it so much. They're not that fluff. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. I beg you, please 
help my sons. Oh yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. My goodness. Oh, what happened? Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? Claire, we're sorry, but we just wanted to- No one ever told you that everything you say before a butt has no value? You know you shouldn't be in here. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. But you didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. It's been eight years. Maybe it's time to move on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't hear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that breaking our door to sneak into the room, well, that shows you don't respect us. Then you act like I'm the bad guy, after what we've done for you. I knew something like this might happen. Maybe you two staying here wasn't such a good idea. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! This goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Do it, Daniel! Now! Do what? What's going on? Oh Lord, what what are you doing, Daniel? Oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe it was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's, it's the sheriff. Stephen? Claire? Sean, I didn't. Tell your grandson. 
We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Someone called us. We know they've been here. They were spotted at the Christmas market earlier today. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No, no, no way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go upstairs. Man, Chris must be so mad at me. I could tell he was pissed when he saw I had the power. Dude, I told you to let him know. You never listen. You're always telling me what to do. And you do whatever you want. So I thought... Yeah, that's so fun for me. I'm just trying to protect us, okay? I know. Sorry. Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. But I'm good with it. And I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but... Daniel, you need to be careful. And listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. Y you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look. I even got you a present. 
Merry Christmas, Enano. For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. It's weird. But I like it. Early Christmas is the best. Hey, I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey, listen. There's a ride. Come on, all aboard. It's me, you've come to take my due. 